Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Today is lamp working, flame working day, and this is where I am on a journey of learning how to work with hot glass, creating beads and pendants, different jewelry, things like that. So if you are following along with me or this is your first time here, Thank you very much, and I appreciate each and every one of you for joining me on this journey. So I am going to make a red, white, and blue implosion pendant. Now, since the last implosion pendant that I made, I have learned a lot of different techniques, things that work better and easier for creating these pendants. So each one I do is unique to itself. And we're going to go with red, white, and blue because it is July. So here we go. I have a little bit of clear left. I have some red, white, and blue over here. And then I have pulled off some stringers from them, which is just smaller pieces of that same color glass. I also have a twisty that I created a little while back of red, white, and blue. So I may use that, I may not. I've got it over here just in case. I also have different tools over here. I have some curved tweezers. I may or may not use this at some point in time as I'm working here. It's just a stylist. It's stainless steel and it helps with creating indentations. A uh, butter knife helps with shaping. Some mini mashers for mashing that glass flat or helping shape. Some other needle, uh, needle pointed tweezers. And another tool for tooling, whether it's pushing in glass or just moving gl hot glass around and on the other side here i have a mandrel stainless steel mandrel same thing i use for creating the beads and things like that and what that'll do is assist in creating a large wad of glass so it'll act as a handle as this is rather short <laughs> and very small so i wanted to create a wad of hot glass on the mandrel, use this as my handle while I create the rest of the pendant. Now, another thing that I will bring in that I don't have in front of us here is actually a graphite marver. This is a bead mold. I will be bringing that in to assist as well with shaping. And I'll just be using the back side of it, the flat side of the marver. All right, so as per usual, I'm going to go ahead and start the flame and begin working. I will be speeding up this video because this is a long process and it takes a lot of time. Melting the glass to get started is the longest part and then melting the glass to implode the colors inside of it is the next longest part so therefore i may or may not do a little voiceover but know that this is sped up quite extensively so keep that in mind when you're watching this that it doesn't take just a few minutes to do this it does take a lot of patience and a lot of time all right, everyone, so let's go ahead and kick on the flame and then I will mute you on the flame side and either crank up some music or I'll do a voiceover. I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, let's begin. We are going to start heating up our clear glass and creating a wad of glass. As I said a little bit ago, I did speed this up quite a bit. In fact, it's almost three times the speed. 
Right now I'm just adding a punty to the clear glass so that way I can create a handle. Alright, so here I'm just trying to get a decent shape. What I'm looking at here is to flatten it out into this disc shape. So I'm using my butter knife to kind of help flatten it out and get it nice and round disc shape. So basically what I'm doing is creating a canvas, if you will. If you wanted to paint a painting, you have to have a place to paint the painting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm creating that flat surface, that big disc. In this case, it's not real big, but this disc of flat surface for me to begin painting. And what I'm doing here is just placing random dots of red, white, and blue. Now I decided I'm going to try to poke them in just a little bit. And as you see, I was fighting with it, you know, moving around at the end of my punty and I was having to flatten it back out and get it level again so that way I can start creating the implosion which is what I'm doing here I'm starting to heat up the outside edge of that disc so that way that hot glass will start working its way melting down around those dots that I put in there And I just, every so often, just reshaping the bottom of it, giving it a, a better, you know, smoother area by placing it down on that graphite paddle. This ended up being a rather small implosion and at the end of this you will see the end result of it. I did use it to make a necklace for myself. If you are ever interested in purchasing some of my glass beads or glass work, you are more than welcome to reach out to me in an email and we can discuss what you're looking for. And oftentimes I mention that I have them for sale during my live stream. Okay, so I'm just still working that clear glass over the top of the red, white, and blue dots that I created. Basically turning it back into a wad of glass at the bottom with all of these different colors encased inside.
here I just decided to use my twisty to put a little bit of a darker color on the back. Now I'm gonna flatten it out right there and just kind of smooth it out over the back. And what that's gonna do is allow you to see that red, white, and blue on the inside of that clear glass a little bit better. Now I'm heating up the blue so that way I can attach it and create a bail for a necklace. just fusing them together. And I'm gonna heat up that punty and pull it out. I ended up with the punty a little bit too deep in the clear glass, so it takes me a little bit and I twisted my implosion there. So I'm working on trying to get it straightened out and smooth out my mess up of the punty being in too close. So what I decided to do was put that punty back in to use it as a handle to try to straighten some things out a little bit. Now I'm just heating up that blue glass, pulling off, leaving enough behind to create a bale. There we go. There's the start of it. Now I'm just going to start working on cleaning that bale up and making it look, you know, nice and neat and to the size I wanted for a necklace. Just using the rake tool to open that bale up a little bit and kind of straighten things up. And I basically am pretty much done at this point. <laughs> it had come off the punty, which was fine. I just needed to pick it up and clean up that edge where the punty was stuck to it. All right, so here is the final result of that particular pendant that I was making. So there is where I put that uh, twisty on the back. It is still really small compared to what I was wanting to do, but as you've seen, I didn't have a whole lot of clear glass, so I was working with what I had. But this is it, and you can see that red, white, and blue in there. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this newer updated implosion video and be blessed, be a blessing. And until next time, bye for now.